Hi, I'm Lena Cortero and today I have a big surprise. As I mentioned in my last video, it has just arrived in the post. Here it is. Let's get started. You need a pair of scissors, obviously. And oh my god, these things, you know, I know what to do. I ordered two, why not? This is actually an amazing gift for anyone. It's the 23andMe DNA kit. I'm gonna get my, you know, red. Very, very curious about it. It's small, it's quite light, and it comes perfectly sealed. You will need something to pack through it. There you go. Very excited. Woo, woo, woo. Cute little box. Ooh, yes, the main thing is that you have to register. Very, very important. It asks you for your email, your first name, your last name, birth date. Of course, you have to accept the privacy policy and the terms of service. Step two, verify your email. And now, after the security questions, we have to input our unique barcode. This is directly printed on the sample tube. You understand that what they are not going to provide you with is medical advice. This has been the most controversial part that any company doing DNA marking is going through really. And the last stage of the consent is that you give permission for the sample to be stored um, for future genetic analysis. The main reason we have all this collective knowledge that can allow us to live better is thanks to sharing. I am perfectly fine with that, so I'm gonna click submit. Now that we have registered, we can continue unpacking. Don't throw away the box because this is the same box that you're going to be using to ship back your product. Here is the rest of the kit and we have the instructions. Two pages with further information. But here the images explain very, very clearly what we have to do. We have the little bag that you're going to use to um, ship your sample back, sealed. Keep that one. And finally, the tube. Here it is. It has a funnel, and that's to make it easier for you to speed. You will notice there is a liquid, it's called a buffer, to maintain the pH of your saliva. Very rapidly, you have to close the lid so your sample is perfectly safe. That liquid is gonna go inside and it's gonna mix with the saliva. Remove the funnel and then we're gonna close the tube with a little cap. And that's what's gonna go, that's the sample that's gonna go back to 23andMe. You don't need to send the funnel for this part of the package. The first thing I think is common sense, you don't want your saliva to be contaminated with anything else. It's about half an hour, but obviously if you can stretch that, the longest that you can, the better. Don't eat, don't drink, don't do anything that might interfere with your saliva. Don't brush your teeth, don't use mouthwash, don't smoke, etc. That kind of stuff. Um, I'm also guessing don't kiss your partner because obviously you don't want to get those genetics mixed up. You really want to know what's, what's in you. Step number two. I feel like I should be watching all of my, you know, Pinterest uh, super delicious food to help me <laughs> generate more saliva. Let's see. <clears throat> Time to speak. Step number three. What you have to do is just to make sure that the bubbles are above the line and that everything else is pure saliva. And now I'm gonna close this very, very fast, very, very fast. We close it, you can hear the clip. Step number four. Let's put the cup on. Now this is the cup. Exciting, there goes a little bit of me in the post. Huh. Step number five. We put the tube in the bag, we remove the blue strip, Ooh, it's sticky, perfectly sealed, and step number six, put it back into the box, just like that, we're gonna be peeling this, sealed, properly sealed there, wait, and wait, and wait, I think it's about three weeks, so I'll be fine, the address is already there in the box, the post is prepaid, you don't have to worry about anything, you're just ready to go. And that's what I'm going to do in a minute, but first I want to thank you for watching and I'm very very interested to know how you feel 
about the era of genetics. What are your thoughts in it? Have you ever done anything like this yourself? Let me know how your experience was. Let me know if you have any further questions. I'll do my best to answer anything, even get in touch with them directly if you have more questions. And um, well, I actually just wanted to say as well that one of my favorite, favorite movies of all times is Gattaca. And if you haven't seen it, I highly, highly recommend it because it really puts this picture of, of the future where maybe everything is analyzed through your genetics and um, it's a very inspiring movie. Thumbs up if you like this video, don't forget to subscribe. I'm doing all of this to make you feel a little bit more your steam so that you get to understand science better and to make them a big, big part of your life. Um, I will be seeing you next Thursday. Right now, I'm running to the boss.